We're going to take a look at the 2014 B case assortment from the Hot Wheels Retro line. Before we do, let's just uh, talk about some of the things that's been going on with the Retro line. Here you see the Jetsons. Well, Mattel's been taking some of their cars that came from the Basic and they put them in the Retro line. Give them special paint, rubber tires. Yeah, even the Flipmobile got rubber tires. What are you guys thinking about uh, these kinds of things that they're doing? Uh, for me, I think it's exactly what they should be doing, creating an adult product with premium features that adults would enjoy. Basically, I am satisfied with basic cars myself, but when it comes to paying a premium, these are the kinds of things that I don't mind paying a premium for. Special tires, special paint, special packaging. Definitely is uh, what I think is fair value. Uh, what do you think? Are you guys, uh, not only that, um, how are you guys doing? Are you guys finding the pieces that you want? Now the BK assortment has the Jetsons capsule car. Whereas the other releases, they pretty much just took it and uh, gave it rubber tires and special paint. But if you look closely with the Jetsons capsule car, they changed it. If you look, the top's the same, gave it the same bubble, gave it the same interior, same ring around the outside. But if you look at the bottom, they changed it. Uh, as far as I can think of, this is the first time they actually changed the tooling between the basic and the retro. The basic, they gave it tires so kids can play and roll around their little Jetsons capsule car. But for the adult version, they gave it a little stand. I like that, that looks pretty good. Me, I like to display this kind of stuff in the package. It looks good in the package. You know I open stuff. But this kind of stuff, you know, I'd probably like to keep in the package. You got the nice uh, artwork from the cartoon. Looks pretty good with that blue base right there. So they gave it a stand just like they did the uh, USS Enterprise from the previous retro. I think this was an A-case assortment, 2014. Me, um, okay. I like it. I like it being in the retro. $4.50 in the USA. Fair enough price. I'm glad that also that they uh, we got a new tooling for that too. Kind of made it even more special. Not so special. Maybe people like the need for speed uh, games, right? Uh, was it a movie? I know it's like games, but now all of a sudden I got caught short. Uh, I'm not sure if this was actually made into a movie. Is, is this a movie or is this a game? Because I know they got the need for speed games. To me, this is very similar to previous releases that have been done by Mattel for the GTO. It's up to you to decide if it's worth the value for you. Oh, there's a lot of GTO fans. You got nice two-tone. You got roof in black. You got the nice beige interior, realistic. I like those tires. I like those tires. Now that I think about it, I like how they stick out. Give it a little beefy stance there. Does have a license plate in the front and the back. Might be a little difficult to see in the package there. But um, nice to see in the lineup. You're getting the premium presentation. Now Stripes. The GMC Motorhome represents Stripes. Funny movie. Bill Murray. Every time I think of it, there's one scene where he's being beat on the ground on top of a duffel bag. And if you watch that duffel bag, the bag keeps moving. Got a little continuity error with that. And this one has got the, this one's pretty neat because it's got triple axle, six rubber tires, six real rider tires. Let's see, no license plate in the front, but it is the metal base version, metal base, metal body. And let me see, this one should be, looks like, looks like it's metal base. This one's kind of interesting, I never noticed with the other GMCs, but it looks like it has a different kind of rear view uh, window in the back. It looks kind of louvered a little bit. It's kind of hard. I know it's hard for you to see. I don't want to open it up today. But uh, if you see it in person. So there you got the uh, taillight tampos. You have license plate. And I'm not sure if the louvered rear window is on the regular versions of the GMC motorhome that have been released in the past or not. Old school. Represented by the custom 77 Dodge van. Pretty nice, just black on black on black. You got black interior, black tires, you got black paint job, black teardrop window, tail light, side light, uh, side lights. There's a tail tampo. It says Dodge. Hard to make out through the curvature of the bubble. It's a, just a slight tampo in the front. 
in the grill you can see some uh, lights red dots actually yeah uh, and the ta the lights are tampered they're just slightly different color than the grill there's four of the five and the last one heart to heart while not exactly a popular um yeah, icon in my mind as far as the TV show. Maybe there's fans, but love Ferraris. This Ferrari Dino 246 GTS. Very nice. Not much you can do with Ferraris. You got to keep them red. You got your headlight tampos. There's a Ferrari decal on the front edge. And yeah, there is actually orange. There's a couple orange decos too. I guess those are turn signals. Hey, you got a side view mirror on the other side. See it over there? It's a little silver bump. You can see it sticking out a little bit. Ferrari Dino, you don't see this model very often. Uh, I don't know if it was released any time in between here and when it was released back with the uh, Bruce Wayne collection. There you see the Ferrari Dino right there in the center. On the left you got the, hey, guess what? There's uh, Bruce Wayne's buddy. You got the Shelby Cobra. Is this the opening hood version? Yeah, you can see a rubber band right there. So opening hood version. Looks real good with those tires. There's your Ferrari Dino. And I did check the uh, casting. It looks exactly the same as this one. It's too hard to see in the package. And on the right, the uh, Ferrari. I mean a Jaguar. I don't remember if it's XK8 Jaguar or Jaguar. I can't remember. But that one's pretty cool because it's got the... Uh, look how it's got the headlights. They're actually inserts. They have clear plastic inserts for the uh, Jaguar there. So there you go, Ferrari Dino. Nice to see it back. I like the Ferraris anyways, but it's nice to see a casting that you haven't seen in a long time. There you go. There's the five cars that are making up the retro assortment for the 2014 B case. You're going to be looking for any of these in particular? I'm, I'm glad to have all five. All five are nicely done. I definitely would like to have extras of the Ferrari, the uh, Jetsons, and eh, one's enough probably for me. I like big vans, motorhome, I say it good. GTO's just okay. To me, it's kind of similar to previous releases of the GTO. How about you? What you're going to be looking for? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.